Hey everybody, call me Felix and on occasion, I have shown you Filipino delicacies some people consider exotic. I'm talking abo-os or ant eggs, live jumping shrimp caught by the river, a whole goat cooked in several dishes, not once, but twice, and frogs that you eat super fresh and kicking Ozzy Osbourne style. Oh wait, I didn't show you that one yet, that's for another day. And here in the province of Ilocos Norte, where ingenious Ilocanos always make do with what they serve on their tables, you'll be surprised to know the locals have their limits. They don't eat rabbits. We visited a local farmer in the town of Solsona, seeking to convert fellow Il Ilocanos to give rabbit meat a chance as a healthier, organic, and more sustainable alternative to pork. Arguably the most beloved meat in the Philippines, and for good reason. I mean, look at these mouth-watering shots. I mean, just feast your eyes on that unctuous, crispy, moist, flavor-packed lechon roasting on a spit. Oh yes, but I digress. A former mayor of Solsona, Jonathan Delara, launched the first rabbit farm within the province of Ilocos Norte, breeding many foreign varieties of rabbits, an expensive undertaking and a gamble, given that Filipinos in general view rabbit as a pet only and hence rabbit meat is considered exotic and somewhat taboo. Slowly but surely, more rabbit farms for meat have popped up around the Philippines, and public awareness of rabbit meat as an alternative protein source is gaining steam. One of the more recent episodes of GMA's Pina Sarap with Cara David spotlighted rabbit meat featured in many familiar Filipino dishes. Today we're going by the rabbit farm to taste that other, other white meat. We'll be having rabbit two ways. One, in adobo, the most common Filipino dish you will find and served in the Ilocano dry style. And two, as lechon, stuffed with local herbs, including lemongrass, marinated in soy sauce and brandy, and manually spit roasted over charcoal. The rabbit dishes I'm familiar with tend to be stewed or braised, but Sir Jonathan is adamant that rabbit is a more versatile meat that potentially plays well across the entire Filipino culinary repertoire. Could we be sold on Filipino-style rabbit dishes? Or will we be running from Mama Pink's farm for beef paksiu and crispy pata? <laughs> I mean, Mama Pink's farm is in Solsona and a stone's throw away from the rabbit farm. And before we begin, I would like to warn you that there are parts of this video some of you might find potentially disturbing. For educational reasons, I'm showing the entire process, including the dispatching, skinning, and butchering of the rabbit. I checked with Sir Jonathan's staff and did my research elsewhere regarding the humaneness of the dispatching and the method chosen was indeed carried out humanely. But anyway, don't let me stop you from downvoting and commenting negatively, especially if it's something orthogonal to the main idea of the video, like the nasal quality of my voice that hasn't cracked male puberty. There, I said that one incisively sardonic witticism you've been wanting to utter but just couldn't go here. Oh, and there's rabbit sex in this video. Surely I can offset the hierarchical food chain related violence and appease you with footage of life affirming rabbit sex, yes? And without further ado, here's how our rabbit cooking adventure went down. Enjoy. So white rabbits you would recommend for roasting and then for the uh, adobo, it, the multicolored one. The multicolored, but we can uh, uh, use also the white ones. Uh, yeah. These are dough. Oh, oh dough. dough. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. uh, for meat. Mm. Uh, those are buck. Ah. Intended for meat. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm curious though, if I'm choosing a rabbit to cook, what should I be looking for as far as like uh, what makes the best rabbit to cook? Uh, you can you can see the build. The build of the rabbit. Yeah. The build. Yeah. The bigger the fatter. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. So uh, we choose this. I think this is uh, good. And then uh, this one will be yeah. for lechon. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think it's good. I mean, whatever like recommendation, I will fly with it. <laughs> let's go. Then uh, let's uh, see the kilo. Two and about two and a half. Point point four three, three kilo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Does that hurt them when you pick them up? No, it will not be hurt. Oh. This is Thumper. buck. See, this is what? they're both. <laughs> oh, 
So this is buck. Oh, that's a buck. Lalaki. There's, uh -huh. bull. There's balls there? Yeah. There's so much fur. <laughs> well, yeah, what do you expect? <laughs> those ones. Those two. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh. Albin. <laughs> For butchering. Bus. It's done. Go ahead. It's done. Wow. Yikes. Can you make a dinoguan out of that? Of course you can. Oh, okay. You guys think you can make any kind of Filipino yeah. dish with it? I wonder if the kid has any seen anything like this before. He's, not, he's pretty desensitized. I don't want to get sprayed on. <laughs> What's your name? Albin. Albin, how, how many have you? How many? <laughs> how, many how many rabbits, rabbits have, have you? <laughs> have you off? Twenty. Have you? Uh, have you? I think twenty plus. Twenty more plus. Done? Yes. Ah. Thirty plus. The first time you did it, was it hard? Yes. Yeah. So they don't eat the rabbit's foot over here. So you know what? That's good luck for us Americans. Because you know, in America, it's a rabbit foot is a sign of good luck. We used to keep one on our backpacks. And on keychains? On keychains, like we, yeah, we, we were small especially. This is the freshest rabbit you will ever have. <laughs> okay, it only took a few minutes for me to go talking like Elmer Fudd. You know what, unfortunately, this says like the Bugs Bunny pelt too. It's like Elmer Fudd got his bunny. I think so. Guys, this is what would have happened in Looney if Looney Tunes was not a cartoon. This is real life. <laughs> Elmer Fudd is usually the winner in real life. I feel like I'm in anatomy class again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Remember it used to be dissecting frogs or dissecting just, rabbits. Pigs and cats for, for Yeah. Oh, yuck. I hate those damn cats. Yeah. Especially the chemicals they put them yes. in. Oh, yuck. I still remember that smell to this day. Yeah, it's like it's, it's like urine times three. Yeah. And then it hurts your nose. Yeah. No. It's like urine times three with probably mustard gas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a good, that's a good description. <laughs> this is the fat. Oh, my goodness. So, is that not a waste? Another. If you, it depends on the reason if you like to eat this, you clean the hot water. Uh, hot water, then you torch it. Oh, no, no, no. no that's okay. Wow, there's a, there's a whole leg. There you go. It looks just like chicken meat. Just like frog. frog. Or frog meat, yeah, because the frog meat is like chicken leg, but the thing is, it's, um, it looks very lean. Lean and muscular. This is the fat. The fat, so. Maybe we strip the fat out. Oh my. You could, but maybe it's too rich. That's relatively quick, in like seven minutes. Wow. Yeah, it basically looks like an elongated frog, as far as the meat goes. Look, because you look at the legs, they look like chicken legs, but the thing is, they look muscular like frog legs. It's longer. What's inside? Feral bayong. So once they strip it off, you can see that it was a fat bunny, but look at that. Once you strip it, wow. There's not a lot of it left. How to remove this? Be careful. Be careful. Because yes. if you pop it, why? Yes. It will squirt. <laughs> it will squirt? Or well, it'll, yeah. Oh, the meat's gonna be bad. Yeah, uh, that too. Yeah, the not, taste not of the even, but they smell meat. A... And the smell of the meat, just like uh, you're you're in, in, yeah. Yeah. Some people are into that. So so you gonna, gonna, uh, be careful <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 JP. <laughs> okay. All right, so you took it out and talked. Okay. So this is the product, right? Can you hold it up, Nico? So you can get a good. Ooh. And the other, you too. Very clean. It's extremely clean. Look yeah. at that. Good job. And that was a rabbit. Okay. It does smell like chicken. It does? Yeah. 
It's a little more like a little more robust chicken smell from what I smell. Yeah, but very clean. Very clean. Because it's so fresh. Clean and robust and fresh. That's what it smells. I think so. Okay. Female, rather. Right Female. Female. We put it there. And I'm the male. Oh, okay. We put it there. As the import. Ah. So this is how they do the mating. So is there a first date or dinner first or anything? Yeah, is there an introduction? Oh, there isn't an introduction. The introduction is this. Play. Wow. Oh, oh, right away. <laughs> That's successful. That's done? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Whoa! <laughs> it was like that. Oh, uh -huh. no. Five and four and a half, or uh, five and four minutes. Wow. Okay, we choose this. All right, we're choosing a rabbit for roasting as lechon. Per your recommendation, this is the one. So, I, whatever you recommend, like rabbit I said. Okay, this is big. Yeah. Come on. So Don't nice, big, and plump is Use the one the that you should get. <laughs> he heard that. He or she heard that and said, "What?" Keep still. Keep still. <laughs> Hey. Two point seven. Two point two seven. So two and a quarter kilo. Yeah. 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 It's a little smaller than the uh, adobo one then. Huh. Okay, we've done the butchering thing already. So. Ginger. Yeah. Ginger. Mm -hmm. Garlic. Mm-hmm. Uh, paminta. Uh, uh, pepper. Pepper. And mm -hmm. pepper leaf. Mm-hmm. Oyster, Oyster sauce. sauce, soy. So that's different from the normal um, adobo, right? Because yeah. usually there's no ginger, there's no oyster sauce. Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah. Is there any oil? No. No oil. No. So you just put it all in one, just like that. Yes. Wow. Wait until you the... So this is quite different from how we make adobo for sure. It's just yeah. like all in one, just marinate everything, boom, yes, put it that's in. Adobo. Not yeah. Marinate. There is also the adobo. Uh, take care of the adobo. Oh, smells delicious. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me suck it. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna taste the rabbit adobo sabao. Oh, gingery. Ooh, it's got a kick, like a gingery kick. Yeah. And of course, a deep umami flavor from the oyster sauce. Adobo. Oh. Let's Okay, our rabbit adobo is done. We're still waiting for a few other dishes. And that includes the rabbit lechon, but I'll take a piece of it because, again, I personally, I guess I should say, I haven't really tasted rabbit, maybe only like once, and I vaguely remember it. Dad vaguely remembers his. It's like 50 years ago, so I think I'm making history for both of us when trying this out. You see, it doesn't look any different from chicken or pork. It does have like more a dark brown color than like usual chicken adobo. I can say that much. So... Here we go. Hmm. Got a bony piece. Okay, so this was like a good minute or two. I got some good chew off of that. To me, it tastes like chicken adobo, but how should I say this? Not earthy. 
but it has like a deeper sort of chicken flavor for me. It isn't, it's very lean. It's pretty dense. And as you can see there, I pretty much just rolled this around my mouth. Sucked and just all the kept, meat off of it. And kept chewing it, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's good. And, and the rabbit is a dense meat, so the nice thing about it is that it soaks up especially the ginger there's a big gingery bite there's actually a little bit of like a um, little bit of spice running piece. through just a little bit there's a nice tingling sensation just a wee bit it's deep because of the oyster sauce too so it's like that soy sauce is more pronounced mm. there's a bit of like there's black peppercorn too i'm getting I think that this is basically like chicken adobo, except that the meat really soaks in all of those aromatics. This is hard to explain. You're right, deep, like earthiness to it, but it's good. Mhm. Mm it's um, I think I got a tougher piece, but okay. It totally soaks up the flavoring of everything else that's in there: the ginger, the garlic, mm -hmm. the oyster sauce, the the soy sauce, the vinegar. Yeah. I mean, total adobo. Yeah. But it's really good. And frankly, you wouldn't really know that this no. was rabbit right? if you exactly. hadn't seen it. You just put this on a plate somewhere and just put some rice and say, hey, can we eat? Mm -hmm. Nobody could tell the difference. Uh, pork. I don't even know if it's pork or, or chicken. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a cross between the two. Yeah. Because of course, like commercialized chicken kind of tastes a little too tender. This almost has more like a free range sort of texture yeah. too. But the meat thing. is more dense. I think that's the thing that Sir Jonathan was saying is that it's all organic. It doesn't use any hormones or mm -hmm. antibiotics. So I think that also adds to the to the goodness of that meat. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, delicious. Yeah, it's really delicious. Um, so once again, I think, and especially all the flavor, all the sauce is reduced into the meat. Yeah. It basically took about let's say an hour to cook it, mm. and you can see just like caked with all the sauce the bay leaf soaked up the flavor mm -hmm. yeah the flavoring is really soaked yeah up. but it's really no different to me than chicken adobo uh we will uh, get two chickens for uh siu siu uh, siu siu is like a tinola oh, okay uh but uh, the blood will be uh distributed uh, throughout the yeah. soup it's, oh. it's not hard and you're saying that people don't really know that type of dish in uh Sosone, yes. in Sosone. And oh. from, uh, part of, of uh, eastern uh, part but not of common Europe. not all. so it's uh, mainly a hyper local dish just for sosona like the local uh, no probably, kind yes, of let's yes. kind of say roughly right mm -mm. hyper local mm -hmm. dish yes chicken <laughs> 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 so we have other dishes other than uh, rabbit we've got chicken soup as well a yeah. unique chicken soup yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna do a very quick review of dishes we have. We're still waiting for the rabbit lechon. So with this indigenous rice and the rabbit adobo, it's still really good. Only thing is, the ginger. Maybe if you tone it down a little bit, I think it would be perfect. Um, there are more tender bits in that rabbit after all. Um, now this chicken soup I really like. This has been flavored with blood. And vinegar so it's not it's kind of like chicken tinola but deeper um, personally I don't really like chicken tinola because it's so bland mm -hmm. for me but they resolved this problem by take so this is fresh native chicken and um, just for this occasion they had um, slaughtered ch two chickens for us uh, two native chickens and made soup out of it um, as you would expect out of native chicken it is got a more profound chicken flavor the meat is not really as um, tender as commercialized chickens but that's the way chicken really tastes like and then the soup is really wonderful um, it's still got that comforting chicken broth but augmented by the blood which isn't really it's a sort of je ne sais quoi in the in the in there so you don't it's not like irony or anything and then there's these lovely chilies in here which add a little bite at the end a little slight tingling that's about it and there's some sourness from the vinegar as well so you have a little bit of everything in here it's really good so again waiting for rabbit lechon in a bit um yeah both dishes are impressive i think 
Um, but especially the chicken soup. Oh yeah. Something good. Ano sa mga tagtulog boss? Right, so bad. Yes. <laughs> So, Manong, what did you already put in here? You put the aldi al, al what it, what's it called? Uh, baranyo. Okay, baranyo, baranyo, which is the tanglad, which is the lemongrass. What's the other one? Uh, alagao. Alagao. Okay. And then lem, uh, oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. Paminta. Paminta so, uh, uh, Pepper and salt. And now the main ingredient, the uh, fiesta resistance. Enough? Oh. the door. Wow. Who knew? Oh. Katam jata. Ikan katam. Ikan kaya wag nang wag nito. Ay sorry. Injection. I did not inject. Pag-alala <laughs> I'm not sure if So how long has this been on for? Uh, one, one and a half hours. One and a half hours. So about 30 more minutes. This should be fully cooked. But look at it, right? Looks like a small lechon. The skin is golden brown, looking crispy. So the rabbit, the rabbit fat from inside the skin is melting all over and just giving it a perfect color. But parang lechon de leche, no? It looks like a small lechon de leche. Mm -hmm. And I bet you it tastes delicious because you can already tell. Bye. 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 It kind of looks like a little beheaded dog. No, it looks like a really small lechon. Yeah, I know, that too. <laughs> That's, that looks very deliciously cooked perfectly. Look at the skin color. Yeah, I it's know. Wonderful. It really does look like the most best roasted suckling pig you've oh, ever sweet. seen. It actually took a long time. It wasn't, I mean, this wasn't a quick, a quick change, but the, the after yeah. effect looks delicious. The roasting only took an hour 15. Or hour 30. With the adobo, rabbit adobo, I think it tasted more like chicken. 
more like gamey chicken. I'm really curious to see how this turns out. And in fact, if it has a little bit of a Cebuano character, just given the ingredients in there. You know, and we had done a Cebu Gachun recently, so keeping that in mind especially while trying this out. All right, that rabbit lechon review took a staggering 20 minutes. So I'm going to condense it just to the snippets of, of highlights and perhaps low lights. So I'm just going to cut them up and splice them. Here you go. That's more efficient. Oh. Yes. Ooh. Let's look at that skin. Is that the belly? No. Yes, no. The belly. Oh, oh, this the is the belly. belly. Okay, so. so as you can see, as you expect, there's not a ton of fat in there. And then if you look how caked it is with those herbs. Okay. Plenty crispy enough. Well, I gotta give it a try. Wow, the crunch is there. The crunch is there. It's all chewy. How's the flavor? It's definitely not like porky. No. So it's like a chicken. Uh, was it like a lechon chicken, but with a cr crispiness? It's like a fresh. It's like a clean tasting lechon manok. Wow. I can taste all the the flavors of the in the lemongrass. But yeah, you're right. Mhm. Mm so it's crispy, but not like lechon crispy. Yes. Because it's missing the, the fat content. Yes, it's missing the fat. But so it's healthier? Yeah, it's much healthier. And it's really tasty though. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm. I mean, like some manok, I mean, you don't generally get a crispy seed. I mean, how could you? So it's practically like the best of both worlds. If you want something that's clean. Well, I'll try this again. I think I'll get some of that meat later, but let's try some more. I can feel, of course, that it's kind of like... Because it's lean... This might sound a little weird, but it kind of has like an, a pig ear-like texture, but not like... glassy that you can feel, but it feels like... yeah. And of course, caked with all those herbs. Oh, that baranyu adds some mintiness that we didn't get from our Cebu pork lechon. Sir Jonathan said he's never tried it with the infusion of all the herbs in it, so he'd like to try that to mm. see it. Because he he firmly believes that the adobo is it's better good. than the lechon. But I, I already tasted just a piece, and I think that's better than adobo. So this is mm. the first time he's ever tried Cebu inspired rabbit chon. What do you think? Tasty. Tasty. Tastes different? Yeah, yeah. Better than the adobo? Uh, <laughs> and then he's not convinced, is he? Yeah. He's not. He loves the adobo. The first time I uh, have this rabbit lechon, uh, I did not put any uh, ingredients like that. Ah, uh, that's anything. why. Or it's so but, good. Yeah. Mm. It's good. You really love it. Wow. Mm. Okay, I got a big fat Go. piece with the lemongrass right there. I was not expecting that meat to be like white meat tender. Is that, there's some Jeez. juiciness. It's delicious. Mmm. It really does taste as if pork and chicken came together. Mm -hmm. And just it? like with that tenderness, yeah. <laughs> the other thing is, I didn't think I would get like dark meat taste and texture out of this. This is the leg. There are pieces where they're a little bit more dense. It's delicious. So rabbit, I think, is yeah. really nuanced in texture. There's some dense pieces, and then I get some tender pieces that are juicy. I never would have thought. Any downsides to it? This like legs a little too chewy? dense and chewy. But the good news is there's a lot of flavor infused into oh my it. Gosh, yeah. So even For if days. this piece is a little bit tough, it's kind of like you know, yeah, it's like a meat lollipop. <laughs> meat lollipop. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> How did you get the lollipop? Because you have to keep chewing, and the more you get it in your mouth, you get more of the flavor. Mm. Yeah, I can't even explain it. You're totally right with the description. Pork, chicken, they messed around, had a baby, this is what it was. Mm hmm. That literally. Mm hmm. They, they messed around. <laughs> yes, they did. It's chicken pig. It's a pork and chicken one night stand, and that's what came out of it. <laughs> no. 
You know what I'm dreading though, right? What? What if like people said like field mice because people eat field mice here in New yeah. Locos? They the say that the meat is sweet. And I'm like, is this is like the next like gateway drug <laughs> towards that? But I think I would stop there and just say, no, oh, rabbit is fine by me. I mean, I know how they were raised. <laughs> exactly. Well, and what they're eating, but yeah. <laughs> so thank you to Sir, Sir Jonathan for having us. My mm -hmm. gosh, we had a wonderful time. We had, a, we had a great day of, of touring your farm. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Thank you so much for for letting us come into your home and showing us your rabbits, your <laughs> chickens, the, your eggs. Not yeah, like, not like that, but his. You know what? Maybe some organic eggs. Maybe sometime <laughs> we'll, we'll get. Maybe sometime we'll get to do that on another video, right? right. So Jonathan's the is the is was a former mayor and he's. He's still in there. He's very humble, might I say. So he's busy. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, why he's the mayor. And, and in spite of that, he still had us here. And he's been here the whole day. So thank you, sir. Oh, oh yeah, I'm set up oh, everything oh. here. Even this tarpaulin here and yeah, all these tables. Very um, accommodating. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. so Jonathan. Anything to say to? Uh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's try rabbit and uh, uh, it tastes good. I thought that the is better, but uh, no, it's not. Ah! I, no, it's not. The lechon's better. Lechon is better. Right? Oh, so finally the, you said it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't take we much. Made it, we made him change his mind. Yeah. Yeah. Good. 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 So we had a crazy day. I really don't know how I'm gonna sort this vlog out in some way. Because I think this review video has gone in its own path. So, um, if you like this video, especially the series on rabbits, you know, eating rabbits and, you know, how they're farmed and how so on. How they multiply. And how they multiply. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's a video for that too. Um, give a like. Better yet, please subscribe for more content. Um, maybe we'll come back here again to see the chickens because there are some really cool chickens here. Um, I think there's a plan to see the black chicken soon. Oh, yeah. So. The black chicken. I should tell you about the the famous black chicken that's here foreboding mm-hmm foreboding yes um so we had a awesome time here hanging out all day with sir jonathan and his all lovely staff as well making all this these rabbit dishes and pretty much trying to convert us into enjoying rabbit and we're trying to spread the word for them as well right? i think we're i think we're sold on this one yeah. actually mm -hmm. it's pretty good pretty good all right so delicious that in mind you know leave a comment what you think as well so like share subscribe and all that good stuff and until the next time remember empire never ended <laughs>